ऑनरेबल मेंबर श्री कदर आनंद जी कदर आनंद ऑनरेबल स्पीकर सर आई थैंक दिस आई थैंक यू फॉर दिस ऑपर्चुनिटी गिवन टू मी टू स्पीक ऑन दिस प्रिवेंशन ऑफ अनफेयर मींस बिल्स 2024 सर this is a quite a interesting bill that the government of india has brought into this parliament i understand that the government has seen through all the setbacks that has happened in the previous years the when a law is been enacted in a parliament when a law is brought into the parliament it means that there had been some bad instances in the past and that the government has taken into act, uh, control and now they are uh, bringing it to the law one big scam that even shake the entire india was vyabham scam which happened in uh, madhya pradesh which brought the nations to the foot and wanted to ask what happened and when uh, when it happened how it happened and who all was involved in it the government was quiet on that time after that com uh, many competitive exams like neet and upsc which all was held everywhere in all parts of the world there were news in the newspapers and other things where people jumping into the windows and prompting them to their well and wishes uh, who are the uh, uh, exam aspirants they were writing the exam with all the people telling all the answers from the windows it all was there in the newspapers the government was silent about that and after the all these years look at the so many unprivileged people who were been punished by this illegal mal practices nearly 1.5 lakh people a study says by the by one of the leading uh, papers that 1.5 lakh students have lost their lives livelihoods because of these mal practices sir this government has to take into control why this bill has been introduced why didn't the government look at what was the possibilities of reducing this mal practices that has not been answered in this bill at all the bill only talks about the imprisonment the bill talks about the punishment and the bill also talks about the fine being imposed but the bill has not has not talked anything about how this mal practices can be controlled for example who are the causes for this mal practice why a student who is appearing for the exam should go into all these kind of mal practices or copying because he is not prepared what what stops him maybe the language if an examination is presented to them in their language where they can write their exam then the mal practice could have been curtailed but the government of india is very stubborn on their language policy where the exams has to be held in the in hindi only in regional areas like tamil nadu kerala karnataka andhra where many of the students are from the uh, state boards where they are not that prominent in hindi they are not able to answer these exams therefore the chances are less therefore they get into this kind of mal practices but a government of india should have a comprehensive policy where they should attract the students they should attract the aspirants they should welcome them with training centers the government has not done anything about that if you want a ups exam or a railway recruitment what are the training centers what are the educational things that has happened in by the happened by this government nothing has happened but if you do something wrong you will be punished okay accepted but what have you done to for this aspirants what are the training centers that has been set up by this government which has not been addressed or not discussed about that is a bad part in this bill sir another issue is that whenever these the, the states any state which is ta talking about the education or examinations you should take the state of tamil nadu as an example the exams which ever conducted for example upsc which we are all discussing about our tamil nadu chief minister has given assistance and programs such a way that he is paying nearly 7000 rupees for each and every upsc students who is going to appear for the for the uh, uh, those kind of exams when he is selected for examinations it uh, some of rupees 25000 has been paid to them for his uh, uh, appearing for the interviews this kind of assistance is given by the tamil nadu government another another instance is that there is another uh, program it is called nal mudalvan non mudalvan in tamil is in tamil it means i am the winner 
I am the successor. It is the name of the uh, name of that scheme. The scheme is uh, very simple. A student who is uh, participating in a government school or a government college, a student who is participating in an in an university, private university, they are both exchanged in a certain part of time so that. The, even the uh, students from the government institutions are also getting the same kind of technology or value addition courses such a way they can go for these competitive exams. Therefore, the students, the well-being of the students is being brought up and also they are now free and fair to attend the exams. Lot of Tamil Nadu students are now appearing for the UPS exams. They are all going, but the language is a barrier. The government should also look at, into that. What are the reasons these kind of malpractices are happening? And there is a committee being formed to examine all these kind of malpractices. Where is the, uh, where is the uh, involvement of the states in it? The states have not been consulted. The states are not being involved in these committees. So suddenly, the, la the law says you can book, you can book them. Uh, they say an arrest can be made with a warrant and a bail will not be a matter of right. And also, there can be up to three to five years imprisonment and also a 10 lakh rupees fine that can be imposed. So if suddenly, without even a proper inquiry, if the proper inquiry is not been done, or a partiality has been found out, or someone is going to be partial, who are the persons who is going to be identifying these lawbreakers? Who, how it is being going to be identified? Where is the committee? Where is the state involvement? These are the million questions that comes behind this law. This, this law, uh, government of India should look into all these things. So to summarize my submission to this August House, I request the government of India to, to break this barrier of language which is causing all this malpractice. And number one, involve the states, encourage the states, give them the required funds so that all the students from the states will be able to participate in all the, this kind of a competitive exams. Number three is involve the states when the kind of malpractices happen, the committee which is constituted to encourage this kind of malpractices, the state involvement should be there. Therefore, Regionality, like when uh, the Honorable Speaker, when he was in the, as a speaker, he mentioned about the SEST or any other uh, uh, caste communities will be partially or uh, marginally penalized in this kind of malpractices. So, end of the day, the fear of the students has to be removed and only then fair and uh, correct exams will happen. If you take the Western countries, whenever you go, these kind of malpractices are not there. The technology has been involved. If we involve this kind of a technology, then the malpractices will not be there. So the exams are being conducted in these states and the state's involvement have to be there. So with this, I summarize and say that this law may be amended with my amendments which have been given <coughs> to you or submitted in this August House. And I request the uh, government of India to look at this and honor the states for their for the investment and also time being spent to for the future governors or the future citizens of this India. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Honorable Member Srimadhi Chinda and you